Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Roundcube web-based IMAP email client on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we go into the depth of installation of Roundcube web-based email IMAP client, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is meant by Roundcube web-based IMAP email client. Roundcube's most prominent feature is the pervasive use of Ajax technology. After about two years of development, the first stable release of Roundcube was announced in early 2008. Roundcube is written in PHP and can be deployed in conjunction with LAMP stack or any other operating system that support PHP are supported as well. The web server needs access to the IMAP server hosting the email and to an SMTP server to be able to send emails. Roundcube is a free and open source software subject to the terms of GNU public license with exceptions for skins and plugins. On 3rd May 2015, Roundcube announced that they plan a complete rewrite of Roundcube called Roundcube Next. A crowdfunding was set up to finance the project. The goal of $80,000 was reached on June 24 and the final stand was $1,3,000. 1541 US dollars. Roundcube Next will also include additional features like calendar, chat and file management and this will be implemented using WebRTC and connectors from popular services like Dropbox and OwnCloud. The developer is the Roundcube team. The initial release was, 2000, uh, was done in 2008, about 8 years ago, and the latest stable release is version 1.2.0, which was released on May 22, 2016, which is about 54 days ago, and we, in this video, we will be using uh, 1.2.0, the latest version for installation. So if we talk of current features, the following are some of the current features. Number one, connects to an IMAP version 4 server. Number two, encrypted TLS version 1.2 connection to IMAP server using PHP 5.6 SSL TLS libraries. Number three, available in over 60 languages. Number four, full support for MIME and HTML messages. Number five, compose rich text HTML messages with attachments. Number six, multiple sender identities. Number seven, threaded message listing. Number eight, IDNA support. Number nine, full featured address book based on vCard with group support. Number 10, LDAP directory integration for address books. Number 11, find as you type address book integration. Number 12, forwarding messages with attachments. Number 13, built in caching for fast mailbox access. Number 14, searching messages and contacts. Number 15, spell checking. Number 16, support for external SMTP server. Number 17, support for shared global folders and IMAP ACLs. Number 18, IMAP folder management. Number 19, template system for custom themes. And number 20, open and freely accessible. So if we talk of notable installations, Roundcube is used by a number of universities to provide email services to students and staff such as Sanger Institute, Tech, uh, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, University of Pennsylvania, University of Florida, Harvard University, University of Utah, University of Oregon, Stevens Institute of Technology, University of Sussex, the University of Cambridge, Indian Institute of Technology Delhi, and even IIT Madras. And the C panel includes Roundcube, as a result of which many hosting companies around the world such as HostGator, DreamHost, Media Temple and Candy use Roundcube. Roundcube webmail IMAP client was incorporated using Apsi IBM that is Apsi Business Information Manager, a web-based open source CRM-like application. Apple operating system macOS 10.7 provides Roundcube as a default webmail client in web server. In, ver in prior version, Squirrel Mail was the default client. And 2013, Iran Ministry of ICT, that is Information and Communication Technology, launched the national email service at mail.post.ir, which is using Roundcube. Now, if we talk of technology, Roundcube webmail is designed to run on standard web servers such as Apache, NGINX, Light HTTPD, Havatha, or Cherokee. In conjunction with the Relational Database Engine, supported databases are MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQLite. The user interface is rendered in XHTML and CSS and is fully compatible with skins. Roundcube incorporates jQuery as a part of its distribution as well as other libraries such as Googie Spell and TinyMCE. 
and the plugins with version 0.3 Roundcube introduced a plugin API which allows non-standard features to be added without the need to modify the source code and a variety of plugins are available from the plugin repository. So this was about a brief introduction about Roundcube and open source webmill software. So this is the official website that is called roundcube.net and seeing the experience of Roundcube so popular universities, institutions and even government have applied and, and implemented Roundcube as their popular email service engine. So the latest version which I've already told you is webmail margin 1.2.0 was released on 22 May 2016 so if you talk of more screenshots you can find more screenshots over here you can see a very beautiful interface and download over here that is a very beautiful version that is about 3.1 MB of size so version 1.20 which we will be using in this video also so even you can contribute even you can support so lots and lots of things are there so let us go to our Ubuntu 16.04 LTS which is the 64-bit architecture which I've already installed and I will be using this as the base for my installation of Roundcube an open source webmail email client based on IMAP so let me log in so these are the steps which I will be using so all the steps are available at the bottom of this video so that you can be able to install in your own servers and your organizations without any hiccups so let us first of all log in with root with the command that is su space minus and let us give the password so root has been logged in so the first thing is to update the system so apt hyphen get update so as I've already told you that Ubuntu 16.04 is somewhat slow in updating the system so you have to bear with the slow speed but might be in coming version of Ubuntu 16.10 it will be removed. So after updating the first thing as I've already told you in the explanation that the base is the LAMP server and some additional PHP extension which will be installing. So make it sure that you install it otherwise you will face some errors when you come to the front end of this software. So now you can see that the updates have been done. So follow all these steps which I have written over here so you will not find a single problem in installation of Roundcube webmail. But you can make a perfect server by integrating DNS server like a Postfix server along with the front end of uh, this Roundcube webmail. So it is somewhat tough installation so bear with me. So let us clear this and now what we have to do is to install a LAMP server with a single command that is apt-get lamp-server shift 6. So let us paste this and let us press enter. So it will be integrating all the modules which is being required in the latest manner so PHP 7.0 Apache and even everything will be installed. So about 23 MB of download will be there and 181 MB will be used so let's press Y and press enter. So apart from the LAMP server and the separate PHP extensions we need to install additional PHP extensions for DOM JSON and XML which are not included over here in this installation so make it sure that you install these two commands otherwise you will not be able to install Roundcube and you will face some errors so after that we will be installing apt-get php-xml which is a very important extension for XML as well as for DOM so after that we will be also installing the MB string which is for both so these two extensions are very important otherwise the installation will not be completed so depending on your good internet connection it will not take much time so I'm expecting less than a minute so MySQL client is being downloaded with the latest version that is 5.7 so I will be using MySQL as a backend because it supports only three databases that is MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQLite so about 50% is being downloaded now so the main server core is being downloaded which is version 5.7 so I don't recommend to use MariaDB because MariaDB is not supported as such by Roundcube when I was researching on Roundcube I was facing some uh, problems with the integration of MariaDB with the uh, Roundcube so make it sure that you install MySQL it is good enough so less than some couple of seconds about 20 seconds more so three-fourth of installation is being done so now some PHP utilities will be downloaded because we have already downloaded Apache MySQL and now it's a term for PHP so 
so some lab apache 2 mods php 7.0 it's a main file which is required for integrating php and apache so now you have to fit the password for mysql so let me type the password and repeat the password so it is unpacking all the files now and it is installing and after that it will be installing the lamp server So let me tell you my subscribers that uh, Roundcube installation is very sensitive. Even if you will, uh, f uh, you will not be able to install, uh, if you make even a single mistake, it will not be installed. So make it sure you follow all these steps and all the steps will be available again, I say, available at the bottom of the video or at my Facebook page that is facebook.com slash expert researcher. So it is setting up Apache now enabling some modules so couple of seconds more let's wait so now it is setting up the PHP. Some configuration files are being set up and created. So the latest PHP version, that is version 7.0, I will be using for uh, deployment of Roundcube web email IMAP client. So it will take some time. With my experience, I can say that Ubuntu 16.04 is somewhat slow in downloading, installing, as well as updating the packages. So we have to bear with this. <laughs> so lots and lots of configuration and trigger processing is there. So it has been done. So now what we have to do is to install additional PHP extensions. So make it sure that you do it. You will not find in any of the resources online. So this is my research which I have done. So press Y and press enter. So it will be installing DOM, JSON and XML. You can see over here. So after that we have to install this MB string. And after that, we will be doing some time zone fix into PHP INI file, and then we will be proceeding with the MySQL database configuration. So you can see that the DOM is available, and uh, JSON will also be installed. Okay, so let us paste it with the MB string. So about 464 KB of archive will be downloaded and installed. And now what we have to do is to fix the time zone because this is very important. Otherwise, you will not be able to install uh, that is your round queue webmail on the web interface. So you can see that somewhat it is very much uh, slow in getting the fetching of the data. Even KBO files takes lots and lots of time. So this was the heaviest version part of the video in which we can set up the PHP, Apache 2, MySQL. So it's done. So everything has been done now. So now what we have to do is to fix the time zone. So let us go to this directory that is cd slash etc php 7.0 apache 2. And now what we have to do is to edit one file with the editor that is gedit php dot ini. You can even use nano. But I feel good into 
this called uh, so let us search this that is time zone so over here what you have to do is to remove this uh, this semicolon sorry sorry let's go again yes so what we have to do is to leave this and let us go to this and with the quotes we type it Asia slash Kolkata which I'm living so you can change the time zone as per your uh, uh, requirements so click on save and let us close it so the PHP has been done so now what we have to do is to set up the MySQL database and users so what we have to fire this command that is MySQL underscore secure underscore installation so press enter so press Y for yes or other key for no so we don't have to uh, so we can change the password for root so press Y so press uh, Y for everything yes so all done and now what we have to do is to log in with the MySQL so MySQL space minus U root space minus P and now you can see that the MySQL command is there so fire these commands which can create the round cube DB so round cube DB will be the database so the database will be created and now we create a user that with the mail admin identified by mail admin so this will be the username and the password you can change the username and password as per your requirement so make it sure that when you change this username and password so provide the correct username and password at the front end when we install via the web interface so let us go with this command now flush privileges and then we exit and after that we will be starting with the configuration so now let us start with the final part that is with installing a round cube mailer so let us go to this and fire this command so cd slash temp as well as wget so we will be using the latest 1.2.0 so it will take me to temporary directory as well as it will download a round cube mail that is 1.200 into this so it will not take much time because it is about 3.6 MB depending on your net connection it will be very fast okay so it has been done so now what we have to do is to give this command task pay let us me let me first of all show you so this is the round cube so what we will do tar space X Z V F round cube space minus capital C slash where slash www so it will be inflated so now what we have to type this command so that we can have the web mail over there and we can change the name of the round cube so it has been done and now let us come outside let's clear and now we will type some ownership commands so let us copy this so all the commands will be available downstairs so no need to worry so let us join this also so we can change the owner okay so now what we have to do is to import the round cube database into MySQL server and log into the server so use this command so that we can import the database give the password and it will be imported so now what we have to do is to restart the Apache server and we are through so the service has been started so now let us take note of the IP sorry let us take note of the IP address so IP address is 192.168.117.180 so note it down so now what we will be doing we will be copying this address to the main host machine so let us go to this HTTP 192.168.117.180 slash okay webmail slash installer so it will uh, try to give some error so we will fix it so let us fix this error with giving this cd slash etc cd apache 2 cd sites hyphen available so make it sure that you open this command that is with a g edit with the file default.com so now what you have to do is to go to this document root and remove this HTML over here so HTML will be there like this so what you have to do is to remove this HTML and save this file 
okay so now after that what you have to do is to just restart the service service apache to restart sometimes it may give some error but otherwise there is no need to worry about so i have told you that uh, it is very much sensitive so now let us try again so 192.168.117.180 slash webmail slash installer and voila you can see that everything is being there php extensions are already there so next is activated so make it sure that if you don't do this php extensions command so it will be giving you some error and you have to debug that so click on next so round queue webmail server is there and you can just uh, you can have this with the database server which you can do the database will be round cube db you have to copy this and sorry it will be database name will be round cube db and database username will be mail admin and it will be again main admin so database password so rest over there will be okay so if you want to do more you can create the config file so config file has been there so click on continue so you can see that after completing the installation you can do over there so testing of config is there but we need to have some uh, valid web mail uh, server in order to do that and to see the main thing over there so rest everything is fit and fine and we can even check the login so we can do over there so in this video i have uh, made you learn that how to install round queue webmail installer and how to remove one or two bugs which can occur into the installation as well into the php so do give this a shot do like this video thank you so much for watching